Hello everyone, I haven't been around for a while because I've been unwell. Anyway, I have this Dell Optiplex M45 in front of me. And I want to sell it on, but I'm going to upgrade it first. There was a, a DVD-ROM drive in there, but I wanted to put in a DVD rewriter. Anyway, I um, tried three different Pata DVD rewriter drives and none of them were recognised. I was getting um, that error that says SATA one device not found and there was no ID showing and a SATA drives in a BIOS. I've got a feeling it might either be something to do with this Pata to SATA adapter or the drive itself, something to do with firmware. But anyway, what I've done is I've put a power supply meant for a um, 755 in there. Um, I've removed the adapter, as you can see. And I've got an actual SATA drive in there, so I'm bypassing this thing. And it is now actually recognised. So I've got my DVD rewriter in there now. Now, there is another option that I, I could have tried. So if you notice on the old drive, that's the power connector that goes into the adapter. And I was wondering whether I could have used one of these. It's a slimline SATA power and data cable for, um, you know, laptop drives. What I was thinking of doing is snipping off that Molex there because it'll have a red and black wire in and possibly poking the wires in the holes there instead of snipping that off just in case it didn't work. I That's what I was going to try. I don't know whether this will give sufficient power or not but that's something you could try because it might be a cheaper option. Um, you won't obviously need this orange wire because if you look at the micro SATA power connector on that's in there. Right. See, we got one of them as well, and then we just it's only got a black and red wire. So what you could do is, like I said, snip that molex off and push the wires in the corresponding holes on there put glue or tape on and see if that will work it could be a cheaper option rather than get another supply unless of course you've got a one of those power supplies lying around that you don't need but i'll just fire up this machine now and i'll show you that this um i don't know if you can see there it is a SEM45. Uh, I'm on my phone and it is, it's, a bit, it's a bit dark down there. Yeah, you can just about see it is an Dell Optiplex SEM45. Right. I just gotta get round the front here and then switch this machine on and press F2. There. You can see it's a 745 on that screen, right? right if I go down to, to drives, my keyboard's not being detected. Uh, kind of a bit of a problem with these. And, right, now it's being detected. I just put in a different USB, right? If you go down to drives, that's my hard drive and then SATA one. There you go. There's my SATA DVD drive being detected. Now let's boot into Windows. Let's see if it's detected in Windows because it wasn't before when I put a different PATA drive in there. It was blank under my computer. Yeah, 
it's pretty fast for an old computer booting up Windows 7. I, I haven't got any graphic card in there at the moment. I've got one coming port in the post, a low profile one. Right, my computer. Mm, it's not showing up. Oh, there it is. Oof. There we go. First of all, I said it was a CD drive. Uh, that's what it must be doing there. Let's have a look. That's what it must have been installed in that drive. Well, when I had, um, I put a path a DVD rewriter in there. That, that was absolutely blank there. It was only showing the hard drive. So there you go. Anyway, I hope these tips helped you. Um, like I said, there's two options. I'm not sure about that adapter on eBay because I haven't tried it. But like I said, if you poke the just poke the wires in the hole and tape them up without cutting anything, you're not gonna be ruining anything. If it doesn't work, you could try that option first and maybe then just put one of these in. Make sure it's the same wattage, uh, 275 watts, I think. Um, especially if you plan on putting a low profile graphic card in. Um, it is quite difficult because the PCI slot is very close to the hard drive. Um, I've had to look at a number of cars that have a small heat sink on them because some of them are quite blocky and there's no way they will fit in there. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope these tips helped you.